the input uh, we are introduce uh, 5600 ton uh, of material which is call it as a input the scrap value only they given here 10 rupee 15 rupees 20 rupee but in case of normal loss just for calculating the 3% on unit 25500 which is the one kind of expenditure so debit side we need to write and even the office and administration expense which is given 42000 divided by three process we are doing Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. I am Natesh, lecturer in commerce, Vidyashram First Grade College, Mysore, the temple of excellence. We are in the unit 2 session 3, 4 semester BCom costing methods and technique. The chapter name is process costing and service costing. And today my agenda is the process costing related problem. Okay, here there is one question for in a manufacturing concern and the last session which is related to director now which is related the process costing uh, based on the percentage uh, in a manufacturing concern of uh, a product uh, Lexinova passes through three process and finish stock account the detail are as under here the process P process Q process R okay there are three process are given at the last process we call it as process R we can find out the finish stock so the transfer to the next process from the process uh, P which is given percentage 70% are transferred okay and process Q 60% transferred because in the process uh, R we are not able to find out transfer because the three process will be completing. So moving to the transfer to the warehouse for sales which is nothing but going for sales finish stock okay. So under process P 30% under process Q, 40% will go for the finished goods and even last process 100% because the three process will be completing based on the percentage we can calculate. For the month of October 2008, the detail of expenditure are as under, okay. So here the process P whenever which is starting from the process P, so the input uh, we are introduce uh, 5600 ton uh, of material which is call it as a input at the rate of 20 per uh, ton which is given we need to multiply and at the time of process Q 640 ton of material at the rate of 35 so whatever which is the balance here uh, uh, transferring going for the next trans apart from this 5600 uh, so we will find out 70% uh, going for the next transfer so which is the uh, input for the process queue as well as we need to take for 640 together okay the rate is also given 35 per ton from the uh, process P whatever the transfer again we are transferring to the which is carried down uh, here we are writing brought down so the process are 5040 ton of material 15 per ton again in the process queue we are identified there is a uh, transfer okay so the 70 60 percent transfer we can identify so that will be also carry forward here and apart from in each process out of the total weight uh, uh, per ton 3% uh, treated as a uh, normal wastage okay and 7% is a scrap value okay the scrap is sold only this adjustment is applicable for scrap the scrap value only they given here 10 rupee 15 rupees 20 rupee but in case of normal loss just for calculating the 3% on unit there is no cost per unit is given for selling and PQR process respectively apart from this uh, labor cost also given process P 35,300 which is going for directly debit side under process Q 25,500 debit side uh, the process are 22,700 okay so here office and administration expense for the month of October 2008 uh, 42,000 which is to be charged equally divided by 3 42 divided by 3 exactly we are getting 14,000 here and they are asking to prepare the process account and calculate the cost per unit cost per ton in each process so now we can remember the format one is the debit side particular three amount column one is cost per unit one is unit and is uh, multiply the total value okay even the credit side also we are writing so moving to the first process 
from the information we introduce for the process p 65600 at the rate of 20 again immediately we need to write the debit side 5600 into 20 if you multiply 1 lakh 12000 okay apart from this other expenditure which is given in the direct question labor cost uh, 35200 uh, and office and administration 42,000 given. So equally we want to distribute, allocate. So exactly 14,000 we are getting. So the total side, the unit is 5,600. There is some adjustment, 3% is wasted and 7% is scrap as well as the rate also given. Okay, now from this input, we need to take for 3% means 168 we are getting. How we are getting 5600 into 3% if you take multiply, you are getting 168. The rate is not given nil. Okay, now again there is one more adjustment, the scrap is 7%. The same 5600, 5600 into 7% if you multiply, you are getting 392. The rate for scrap value is, which is given in the question, which is sold for, the scrap value is 10 rupee. First process 10, second is 15, third one is 20. Now we need to take for the process P, respectively they specify. So the 10 rupees we need to multiply. 392 into 10, if you multiply 3920. Okay, now again, uh, here from the introduction, there is one work note. Huh? So here the total output we produce of 5600, which is introduced for the process P. Okay, from this we need to subtract normal loss as well as scrap unit. If you subtract the value or uh, the units here available unit is 5040. From this 5040 we need to go for 70% for the next process and 30% is for the finished good. So here uh, one is calculated uh, related to the finding a unit for 70% as well as 30%. Output transfer to warehouse 5040 we got uh, after subtracting the scrap unit as well as normal loss units. Okay, 30% means if you calculate which is going for the finished stock. Huh? So here the 1512 we are getting 30%. So directly. So the rate is we are finding just now. Uh, we, we need to find out the rate. Again, huh? The same thing, if you try to calculate value basis, because the debit side we are getting 1,61,300. From this, we recovered already 3,920. I have clearly specified the total debit side is more. From this value, we recovered 3,920. The difference value is 1,57,380. Again, 30% if you calculate. The value is 47,140. Immediately we can write the amount column. So uh, 47,214 divided by this unit. If you do uh, the rate per ton, easily we can get uh, 31.23. Now transferring to the next process. So the output of the transfer of the next process, same unit 5,040 we need to consider after subtracting. From this you need to take for 70% going for the transfer means you are getting 3528. Transferring means immediately we need to write in the credit side. Huh? Okay, again rate we can calculate easily. So after subtracting uh, value we are getting 1,57,380 into 70% means we are getting 1,10,166. Okay, so immediately the amount column. Divided by 3528, if you divide the rate per ton, 31.23. Okay, once we complete it, which is carry forward, okay, carry forward means which is going for the process Q debit side, which is appearing in the credit side. Now, next process when you are going to continue, so which is going for the debit side. Immediately from the process I have transferred for 3528 at the rate, whatever I have clearly specified in the credit side, the same thing I have written here. And apart from this carry forward, whatever we did for the process QP, so there is something called introduction of material. Here's the introduction of material. Under process Q640 material, 
at the rate of 35 which is given same thing we need to take uh, apart from the process whatever you transfer from the p we need to take consider 640 also and immediately I have written 640 at the rate of 35 if you multiply you are getting 22400 and apart from this the process p the labor cost what we are consider the same thing the labor cost the value for the process q it is clearly given in the question 25,500 which is the one kind of expenditure so debit side we need to write and even the office and administration expense which is given 42,000 divided by three process we are doing so 14,000 okay again we are getting debit side the total here if you add together the total introducing the process queue the total uh, available inputs is 4,168 from the 4,168, whatever it is there, we need to calculate 3% is a normal scrap, huh? normal value, normal unit 125 we are getting. Again, from this total of material 4,168 into 7%, if you calculate scrap of 292, so the rate for the scrap recovery is given 15 rupees. If you multiply, you are getting 4,380, okay. So, moving to next one, we need to calculate, see the total available inputs are 4,168. From this, we need to subtract normal wastage unit as well as scrap unit. If you subtract, you are getting 3,751. Again, we need to calculate, there is for 60% and 40% which is applicable for process queue, okay. From the 40%, if you calculate 1500, which is going for the finished stock, huh? here 40% means finished stock. Huh? Okay. Again, the rate also easily we can find out huh? the same procedure we need to follow. Again, uh, the transferring for the next, the process is called for R. Huh? Again, if you calculate the 3751 into 60%, 2256. Huh? Okay. So, immediately we are writing for the process R, it's coming next process. So, 2,251, okay, rate easily we can find out here using this input value, okay. So, from this total debit side value, we already recovered 4,380. If you subtract, the difference value will be 1,67,686 into 40%, which is going for the finished stock value, 67,074, immediately we can write the amount column. If you divide by 1500, obviously we can get for 44.70. Again, the same value we need to multiply for 60%. The value we are getting 1 lakh, 1 lakh 612. Immediately we are writing in the amount column divided by 2251. The rate also we are getting 44.71. So now which is going for the next process R which is carried down okay next we are taking for the debit side uh, r process account in the last uh, process which is uh, related to q uh, from the q uh, whatever the output is there we are transferred from the q to r so that's what i have written in the debit side uh, the process q account so whatever the output is there uh, so which is coming from the process q so that's what the unit is uh, which is there in the uh, q 2251 uh, Okay, the, at the rate of 44.70, if you multiply the same value, whatever you are getting in the queue, credit side, the same thing. So, apart from this, whatever you transferred, uh, now re related the materials are added for the process R. So, which is uh, 5040 at the rate of 15, which is clearly specified in the question. If you multiply, you are getting 75,600. So, apart from that, there is one expense which is related to labor expense which is given in the question 22,700. Okay, and office and administration expense 42,000 whatever it is given which is equally divided for the three process. So, that's what we are getting here 14,000. So, at the end of the time, so credit side, they clearly specify 3% which is related to the wastage. Now, the available input is 7,291. You have to calculate 3%. So, which is called for normal unit loss 219. So, here in this uh, scrap also clearly specified 7%. From the total input, if you calculate 7%, we are getting 510. 
So the rate is clearly specified in the question 20 rupees. If you multiply, you're getting 10,200. So at the end of the time, see now you have to refer the debit, whatever the input is available, just opposite copy 7,291. From this, you have to subtract uh, first one normal loss, normal loss unit and scrap value, uh, scrap uh, units. If you subtract whatever which is available, we call it as a finished stock, 6,562. So now we need to find out the value per uh, uh, unit. So the debit side total 2,12,912, we just opposite copy. From this, you need to subtract the value, scrap value we recover. The difference amount is 2,2711. Like if you divide 6,562 units, what you are getting the difference. So the cost is 30.90. Keep on watch for next section. Thank you.